you. Have we finished, Mika? Uh, I'd like to ask about the Unicu about, uh, about the Unicu thing that can be found in everyone. Oh, I mean, the unique talent. Unique, yeah, yeah talent. Yeah. Mm. Uh, uh, it seems uh, I haven't yet found it because I'm studying in university. Or is yeah, well, so you've got to, yes, yeah. and I'll tell you what, it's best to do, you just do your studies and do that. How many mm. years have you got to go? Oh, I suppose four, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> well, you've got to do it, haven't you? Yeah. Unless you just quit. Yeah. But I'm not telling you to quit because you must have some interest in what you're studying to do it. But eventually, you know, you have to do what you love to do. You have to do what you love doing. And not what, you're, what gets you a lot of money, not what is exciting because it won't be exciting for long. You just eventually got to do what you just simply love doing. And very few people in the world ever find that because the demands of the world is that you be successful. And when you do what you love doing, it doesn't necessarily mean much money. It doesn't mean much success, but it does mean the fulfillment of not having the problem of having to do what you don't want to do. That's if you love it enough to do it. But that's a very rare thing. And it's no good just giving up work and knocking around having coffee and a discussion with the other people on the dole down the corner. That's not doing what you love. You've got to discover what it is inside of you that you love. And often the indicator is a hobby that you do that wouldn't make any money for you, it appears. But the hobby is often appointed to what you are really good at and what you love to do. And that's a place to start and see, well, can I develop this? Because so many people are doing what they don't love to do.